Hi everyone, I want to show you how to use the real link in VR, uh, the 16 channel one. I want to just cut and paste a particular clip from something that happened today. Um, just to show you how it works, because I was confused before. So here you'll see a list of all the events happening throughout the day. It's usually on an hourly basis, but at 1118 it seems like there was a lot of events during that time. So if I click play, and I click the, the video camera number that I want to look at, and hit OK. I'll see this screen. You'll see a whole bunch of red events at the bottom. I want to select this particular red event and just kind of review what's going on in that clip. So I saw a car go by. Let's kind of review it again. If I can get it at the right spot. And you'll see a car pass by. Okay, so I want to capture that car, and maybe I think it's suspicious, but this is just for testing purposes. So in order to do that, I know it happens around this red area. So in order to do that, I would actually click on the cut part, and this is a place that I didn't understand. I was clicking around, clicking around, nothing happens, right? I mean, and then I try to like do like a download, nothing happens, right? So I was complaining about this, and I made a video about it um, that was broken. But apparently, you actually have to go up to this little line up here, and then try to click around to to show the scissors. There you go. So I kind of click around and hold down the once the scissor button shows up, you hold it down. I'm holding it down now, and I kind of drag it along to the clip I want. And that's about right. I mean, it's not perfect, but I get to the end. I let go, and then it it basically captures from this to this, which is that area of section that I want to copy. And now when I hover over to the copy button, you can see that it appears. And I click on copy. So I get this this interface where I can use like a USB. So another issue that I had, I had a USB. I have Mac. I use a Mac. But you can you need to basically um, format it to FAT32. So this is my USB. And 16 gigabytes more than enough. And as long as you format it to FAT32, uh, it's basically for Windows, not Mac. But Mac has a um, tool called Disk Utility that allows you to format it into FAT32. And so then once I stick it into the slot, it detects how much space I have. You'll see it from zero on the lower left, and it'll, it'll show how much uh, gigabytes I have. In a bit, hopefully it takes, I'll process it soon. Oh, I think I can hit refresh here. Refreshing. And uh, if you see like one, I think it was like 296 megabytes, that means it wasn't um, stored properly or formatted properly. But now you see this 14.3 gigabytes. I had some previous clips there. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. And now it's ex exporting that file. So it's going to take a while to do it, um, but it's better than storing the whole hour. The whole hour is about 3.45 gigabytes, and that'll take a long time to just upload it. And then you have to use some software to clip it, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't advise on that approach. This one's a lot easier. It does the clipping for you. Uh, you just have to kind of wait a little bit. And as you can see, my previous clips. Um, 16 megabytes, 35, those are fairly small compared to 3.45 gigabytes. So I'm just waiting around here to get it done. And once it's done, you'll actually see the fourth file kind of appear. And that's what you want to look for. I also kind of use MP4 format up here. I check it off uh, because it's better uh, resolution in, in my opinion. So I'm not sure what the format is. Uh, without it, it's an instruction somewhere. And so I'm doing this to show you because the instructions don't really clearly indicate how to do the clipping. Um, but at least here I show you and I'm teaching you how to do it. So here's a clip and everything works out. Thank you.